Grandma, sometimes I hear you still, ticking, thumbing near me in the dark. Grandma, oh dear and wondrous electric dream. our mother died. That week the world ended. For me, my brother Timothy, and my sister Agatha. the oldest and not supposed to cry. Of all of us, I think Agatha took it the hardest. to fear. Aunt Clara is here. What a surprise. You don't think I'd stay away at a time like this? Do you, Henry? My goodness. Just look at all these gloomy faces. Now, I'm going to have this place running like clockwork in no time, Henry. Agatha, you've got a spot on your dress. All right. Henry? Thomas, I want to see those vegetables disappear. And Timothy. Oh, I do believe you need a haircut. Well, now, let's have a big smile for your auntie. <laughs> All right? Well, let's not all say hello at once. <laughs>
put Where? it. Where? And see. mine. Mine, too. Uh, well, I'll be. Give it here. Why? Just a hunch. Here. What are you doing? See? No. Now yours. Aggie. <laughs> there. Agatha has more sense than the rest of you. That's right, dear. You're just like me. Tom Timothy. Agatha. Hello. We are waiting for you at Fantochini. Daddy? Uh, 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 listen now. We are the machines that remember we are the electric grandmothers. Electric? The Fantochini electric grandmother is built to give love to all who need her. A machine that gives love, that's preposterous. It's a good one. Give it a try. Give it a try. Let's go get one. Nothing's ever gonna be like having mom back. This is it, this place. Come on. Hmm? Uh, now wait, don't run, uh, boys. Boys. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go on down there if I were you. Tom, Timothy. of robots from time immemorial, all shapes, sizes, colors, especially... Red Mothers! Daddy? Uh, 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 we've already come too far now. This is madness. No. Tom, be careful! Tom. your father. Welcome. Welcome. Take off your coats. Who are you? Guido Fantocini at your service. I believe you're looking for something in a grandmother. Oh, well, uh, the, the boys got all carried away uh, imagining impossible things. <laughs> Sign of great intelligence, that. Is she really electric? I mean, can she walk and talk? I'm and... a grandma who can sing songs and tell bedtime stories. Uh, Timothy, no machine can do that. Even if it could, it wouldn't be like a real person. Oh, no. I think you might be surprised, Abigail. Agatha. The only limit to what a machine can do is the limit of one's own imagination. You see this key? Take it, Alcibiades. With this key, you and you alone can bring your electric grandmother to life. My name's Agatha, and I don't believe in electric grandmothers. But... If I did, where would I put the key? 
Well, that's for you to figure out when the time comes, my dear. After all, I can't be expected to tell you everything, can I? Now, look here. Just what kind of a business are you running here? My business? My business is fulfilling dreams. Oh, well, excuse me, but I, I think that sounds like a lot of mumbo jumbo. Oh, thank you. I see. You're strictly a practical man, are you? I believe in what I can see and hear and touch. If I tried to sell a stock to a client without even explaining what... Allow me to explain my terms. You see, all our grandmothers are made to order on the premises and are sent to families, select families, I may say, for a 30-day trial basis. If at the end of 30 days any member of your family is dissatisfied with your grandmother, she's returned to the factory under no obligation to you whatsoever. Now, even a practical man like yourself has got to admit you've got nothing to lose. Hmm? Well, yes. Then, shall we proceed? Yes. Come, time to choose and build. First, we have thin grandmothers, plump grandmothers. She shouldn't be too fat. But not too bony, either. You can sit on her lap. She'd feel kind of squishy. Squishy? That one there. Hey, where'd she go? Oh, you have to be quick, Timothy. Shadows don't last long. Shall we go? This is great. Can't wait to see what she's gonna look like. Yeah. Now then, perhaps the young lady has some idea about the color of her grandmother's hair. Oh, I see. You wish to leave the choice to the boys. I like that color. Ah. Could it be long? Of course. That one, the blue. No, the violet one. No, the green. Could they be this color? It's my favorite marble. My grandmother's eyes were just that color. I remember she used to read Uncle Wiggily to us. <laughs> Criminy. I haven't thought of that in years. Yes? Done. And her voice. Say your name. Timothy. Oh, shout it. Timothy! 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 Now you, Tom. Tom! 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 Go ahead. Oh, come on, Amanda. Your turn. This is ridiculous. Well, even more ridiculous not to try, don't you think? Henry. Henry! Henry! Hello. 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 It's her. That's what Grandma sounds like. Hello, my darling. Come along. Fantacini. Yes. Uh, all these choices, do they really go together to make one electric creature? Well, seeing is believing, as I'm sure you'll say. Perhaps I will. Why can we get our grandma and go home? Ask me no questions, I'll tell you no lies. But one of these mornings, you'll get a surprise. So long. So A robot? Now, Clara, listen. If it was only up to me, I wouldn't have that gone along with That is the last it, I... straw, Henry.
bird. It's a sarcophagus. Is it ours? Our very own? It must be a mistake. It's too beautiful. Look, it has my name on it. Oh, and ours. Wow. Listen. Let's get the cables off you, Tom. Let's see if you can grab the end of that. Oh. Yep. Hey, I'll see you out there, will you? Curious, sir, and curious, sir. Pajamas. It's 20 degrees out here. You'll catch your death. Oh, my goodness, you're all in your pajamas. Oh, well, get, 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 get in the house. Help me out. Oh. Oh, I suppose you haven't had your breakfast yet. Oh, well, no, we were so excited about the helicopter. Oh, my. Hurry up, hurry up. Get into the house and get dressed. Yes. And Tom, Agatha, Timothy. Oh, I don't know how in the world you ever got along without me. Jackson fried ham. French toast. My favorite. I've had that food before. At a small French restaurant near Les Deux Magots in Paris. Don't you do that. Coco? Juice, Agamemnon? Agatha. Oh, I'm so sorry, Agatha. Oh, I'm afraid I have a terrible weakness where names are concerned. You mean you've got a clock inside you? Oh, yes. What for? Well, to hear what Mr. Shakespeare calls the inaudible, noiseless foot of time. Shakespeare? All's well that ends well. Act five, scene three. Act five, scene three. My goodness, it's eight o'clock already, and this is a school day for you. I don't want to go to school. I want to stay home with you. Now, what kind of a grandmother would I be if I let you get away with that? Come on, finish up. Hair like yours. What? That color. Oh. I never take it out of this bun. It's so ugly. But I. What? Nothing. Oh. See? Uh. Ugly. Would you brush it for me, Agatha? Your hair is so beautiful. Mine? Oh, no. 
No, yours is beautiful. Oh, I, I'd so love to brush it and braid it for you. No! You can't do that! Only my mother! I'm sorry. Agatha! No wonder you can't work it. I haven't got enough strength. I know. It won't I... fly properly that way. Let's see. Holy Toledo. It's flying. Wow. Agatha, boys, hand me the clothes. We'll send them up to be washed by the clouds and dried by the wind. Timothy, you'll wear her out. No, he won't. <laughs> I'm a living instance of immutability, as Mr. Darwin might put it. I can't get over the things you know. Darwin, Shakespeare, Plato. I'm a machine made to teach. It's one of my most important capabilities. Agatha, aren't you cold over there? I'm all right. Well, tell us what else. Well, I store up everything you say or do. So years from now, when you're married, with children of your own... That's a billion years away. <laughs> the memory of everything you said and did will still be here. Okay. What was I saying at 3.30 today? 3.30. Oh, careful, it's hot. A muffin? Break it open. Holy Toledo, it's flying. But that's got to be the greatest thing I've ever seen. Nine o'clock. Bedtime for Timothy and Agatha. Grandma, could you sing me a song? Mr. Fanaccini promised me a grandma who could sing songs. <laughs> All right. Just one, and then I want you asleep. Timothy, Timothy, never you fear. Trouble won't trouble you now that I'm here. I know the secrets that grandmothers know. Trust me to love you and help you to grow. Grandmothers know how to keep away harm. Go off to sleep with your head on my arm. Dreams will bring happiness all the night through. I'll be here waiting to help them come true. I love you. I love you, too. You'll never go away, Grandma, will you? Of course not. I'll be here forever and ever. I'll always be here when you need me. 
Agatha, sleep tight. I wish I had your talent for getting along with the children. You do. You'll see. Good night. like cave dwellers. If we ever came out into the sunlight, we'd be too dazzled to see anything. That's <laughs> neat. Give me the splendid, silent sun with all his beams, full dazzling. Did Plato say that? No. <laughs> Walt Whitman. Uh -huh. Timothy, cross your teeth. Huh? Second line, fourth work. You forgot to cross your teeth. And six times 124 is not what you think it is. Agatha. What a beautiful map. Could I see that? No. Don't pay any attention to her, Grandma. She's a horrible grouch. You shut up! Agatha, don't speak to your brother that way. You can't tell me what to do! Agatha! I want to talk to you. Agatha, your dinner's getting cold. near the house. I can't believe how the boys have changed since you've been here. <laughs> and so have you, if I do say so. Me? Well, I feel wonderful, it's true. Now, if I could only bring Agatha around. Oh, she's afraid. And that makes her angry. It's my task to discover the source of her fear. Hmm. Well, it sounds so reasonable. 
reasonable, as if I understood what that meant anymore. I'm talking to this machine as if she were a real woman. Often I feel you are a real woman. You know, sometimes I wonder what sort of a human being I am to be so much less understanding than a machine. Oh, now that's nonsense. I'm a machine. I'm made up of you and Tom and Timothy and Agatha and everything you ever say or ever do. I shall put away and treasure always. I'm so used to thinking of machines as cold and inhuman. Well, a machine is what it does. A good machine does good things. A bad machine does bad things. Could I have some clothespins, please? Mm -hmm. Thank you. See, I have time. Time for your children to tell me their dreams. To say what they want to be. And I shall run ahead on the path and help them be it. Even Agatha? I truly believe you can do almost anything. Oh! What happened? Agatha. Agatha? Why did you do that? Why? Agatha, what do you have against her? Tell me. Tom? Timothy? Agatha? Come in here, please. Sit down, please. There's something I'm, I'm very sorry to have to tell you. What? Well, you remember our agreement with Mr. Fantaccini? Thirty days have gone by so fast. What your father means to tell you is that I must go back to you. No! Why? Is it something that we did? Oh, no. It's something I didn't do. I failed to make all of you happy. What? what? Satisfaction was guaranteed. You. It's you. Send her back. Send her to the scrap heap. Oh, now, Timothy. I mean it, Daddy. Timothy. A bargain is a bargain. As long as one of you is unfulfilled or sad, uneasy because of me, then I must go. Timothy, don't make this harder. But that's what she said. She promised. She lied. Don't you see? She's a liar. Just like... Just like who, Agatha? I hate you! I don't no. think... Oh, please. Oh, oh please. No, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. No, no, it's all right. It's all right, not Agatha. Not like Mommy. No, no. Please not like Mommy. Oh, no. Please. It's all right. It's all right. Not like Mommy. No, no. Please not like Mommy. Oh, no. Oh, please. It's all right. It's all right. Not like Mommy. No, no. Please not like Mommy. <laughs> 
No, dear, not like mommy. You're not? You're not? No. I can't die, you see? Then it wasn't a lie. What? When she said she'd never go away. You're not like her. Not like Mom. No, dear. You'll always be here. Always. Cross my heart. No. Cross your heart. That was it all along, wasn't it? You thought I'd imitate your mommy and go away and never come back. Now you see, I can't be killed. I'll always be here when you need me. Now do you believe? Yes. Even when you and Tom and Timothy are old and childish and small again, I'll still be here for you. you mean about when we get old? I'm never, ever gonna get old. Oh, no? <laughs> oh, soon you'll be off. You'll be away in high school and college. That's a million billion years away. <laughs> a million billion years. Oh, yeah. All right. Who's king of the hill? I me, am. Me, me, I me. Am. me. Well, back to the factory. Dear Grandma. Oh, I shall have so much to talk about. So much to share. Of course, I'll be there for the children if ever they should need me. Oh, yes. doing with them, setting off fireworks on the 4th of July, and the snowball fights. Oh. The boys taught me how to play, Tom and Timothy, I mean. And I must say, I got quite good at it. The things one learns from them. Oh, yes. 
Agatha taught me the most, I think. Here, listen. This is when she was just a little girl. Grandma, I love you. So pretty. Yes. <laughs> you know, sometimes I almost feel that I feel. So do I sometimes. I forget the difference between loving people and paying attention to them. There is a difference, isn't there? I think so. Grandma? you look. Oh. oh, no. I'm just the same. What about the others? Agatha. She became a doctor. A good one. And Timothy. Timothy helped build a permanent base on the moon. And me, I, I spent my life writing books. Sixteen of them. Has that much time passed? <sighs> too much. Too much. And now, my time has come round again, has it? Husbands, wives, families. We three outlived them all. In the same old house? You, you'll come then? You'll be there? Of course. When? When? Ask me no questions, I'll tell you no lies. But one of these mornings, Secrets that grandmothers know. Trust me to love you and help you to grow. Grandma, I love you. Oh, Grandma, come play with us. Will you brush my hair, Grandma? Grandma, Grandma, let me help. Grandma, Grandma, let me help. Oh, no, me. Oh, no, me. Grandma, I love you. Grandma, Turn about, round about, sharing our days, teaching each other in so many ways. Tell me the best that you dreamed you could be. I'll be the sunlight that helps you. Thank you. 